Hey guys, so welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Taurus for your um, November 2023. You're going to apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. This is a new love reading for you guys. So it could be a situation that you are you just started talking to this new person, dating this new person, start a relationship with this new person, or that this person could be coming towards you in the future. First, we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love, and then we'll finish off the read to see what you need to know about this new love, this new person that you're dealing with or will deal with in the future. Apply this to your own unique situation, your own timelines. Uh, you may switch roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave, leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Taurus people not tapping into one specific person's energies and particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the no hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too, okay? So Taurus, tell me about Taurus here. What's going on with Taurus? Tell me about Taurus. Taurus in love. What's going on with Taurus in love for November 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Taurus. So we have the moon, Cancer, Pisces here, and a ton of cups. Okay, someone here is keeping something here from you. I mean, it could, could be that they have deep hidden emotions here towards you or that, you know, their heart is definitely guiding them towards, with you, towards higher levels of commitment here. The moon, Cancer, Pisces, a ton of cups, uh, the sun, Leo energy, and the sun of pentacles. Whoever this is, I do feel like this person does want to invest in you uh, because I feel like you make this person really, really, really happy. You know, I feel like this person was definitely in this like really, really, really dark place, but I feel like when they met you, or will meet you, I feel like that's going to change. That It's going to bring in light into your, their life. It's going to bring in healing into their life. Perhaps it's also doing this for you too. Okay, we have the Nine of Wands here and also the Ace of Cups. Wow. Whoever this is, I do feel like this individual has really been guarded with their feelings here towards you, uh, towards you Taurus. And I feel like you don't even know that this person has these feelings here towards you. Okay, uh, clearly, I feel like this person with the Ace of Cups here is in love with you. All right, tell me about the moon. Tell me about the moon. We have the Ace of Wands. Tell me about the Ace of, uh, the Ten of Cups. Uh, Ten of Cups and the Death card here. I do feel like this will be a very transformative connection. I do feel like it will be a very healing connection here. So, you know, I do feel like this person, someone here is definitely going to make a move and let you know how they feel. Yeah, you're going to be completely surprised about how this person feels about you because this person hit their emotions here really, really, really well. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Nine of Cups, okay? So we have some here that views you as their wish fulfillment here. <coughs> I do feel like this is an individual that's sweeping you off your feet here. Yeah, I feel like this person, what their goal is, what they want to do is to make you really, really, really happy or that you want to make this person really, really happy or could it be a mutual thing? Uh, you know, uh, the Nine of Wands and the Page of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Ace of Cups and the Lovers. Wow. Yeah, you're going to kind of find, you're going to kind of like, you're going to find it hard to believe that this person feels this way about you. Yeah, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Lovers, Gemini Energy. This is definitely a strong soul tie here, okay? You know, I feel like this person has been dropping little subtle hints here and there, but, you know, they feel they feel really deeply about you here, uh, Taurus, okay? So um, tell me about this new person, this new love that Taurus is dealing with here. What does Taurus need to know about this new, uh, this person? What does Taurus need to know about this new person? And like I said, if you're not dealing with anybody, this could be somebody in the future here. We have the Wheel of Fortune in the top. Yeah. Um, you know, I feel like this person is going to come into your life when you least expect it here. Yeah. This is you just doing your own thing. Focusing on you. Focusing on your self-love here. Your healing. Focusing on your career and your finances here. Okay. So the Strength card, Leo Energy, the Chariot, Cancer Energy. And the Eight of Pentacles here and the Judgment card, Sagittarius Energy. 
Yeah, I, I feel like you're going to meet this person when you least expect, when you least expect it, Taurus. When you least expect it. And like I said, I feel like this person is definitely hiding their emotions or will hide their emotions really well. They're, they, they're going to feel very deeply about you and you have no idea. The Wheel of Fortune here and the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Tower, and the Nine of Swords. A lot of you guys are working on your own emotional and mental health at this time here. Really focusing on that. Really making changes surrounding that. Trying to let go of worries, you know, trying to let go of stress and anxiety here. Trying not to waste your energy on worrying th about things that are, you know, irrelevant to right now, you know, in the present moment. You know, this is about learning to be present, you know, being, being present for yourself, being present for others. The strength card. The Knight of Swords, the Aquarius, Gemini, the Chariot. And the Star, Aquarius, Energy. Yeah, someone here is definitely seeing you as a one here. You know, they're not telling you these things now. Uh, they they might be, like I said, they might be telling you things uh, these things in very subtle ways here, but I feel like this person will unload on you. Yeah, they will tell everything. They will tell you that they love you. They will tell you that they care about you. They will tell you that they want commitment in marriage. They want to invest in you. You make them really happy. The star card. And we have the two of wands. Judgment. Why is judgment here? And the magician, Gemini Virgo. You know, I do feel like this person is going to choose to make this happen here with you. I feel like, you know, this is going to be a very transformative connection here. I feel like you guys will go through, like, you know, major shifts, you know, awakenings together, healing together here. Okay? So I feel like this is something that's developing. Um, this is something that's developing very beautifully here for you, Taurus. What else do we have here for Taurus? What else does Taurus need to know? when it comes to the situation here. Wow, we have the Emperor Aries energy. Yeah, I do feel like whoever this is, this is an individual that's definitely stepping up to the plate here. You know, this is interesting because I feel like one of the major releases that someone here is going through is that this person's going to release a lot of rage and a lot of anger that this person has been holding on to here. Okay? You know, I do feel like, you know, certain things will start coming up. You know, I do feel like both of you guys might be triggered from past situations here. But I do feel like this is going to come together really, really, really well here. This person is definitely going to tell you the truth about what they're feeling, what they're thinking. Yeah, King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. And, you know, I feel like you guys are going to work really well together. You guys are going to flow really well together here. And I feel like it will turn into something more. Okay? It will turn into something more. It might not seem like that right now because, I, like I said, this person is definitely really guarded with their emotions here. But, yeah. Um, I do feel like this person will definitely express it, okay? So Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.